Welcome back to the channel. Good morning. It's Monday. Kind of sit. I'm calling this my editing room because it's quiet away from the kids and stuff, not bothering anybody. But uh, I've used this little life hack with these 1S batteries, and it may be common sense for some, and it might be helpful for others. So I figured I'd throw it out there. So this guy's still got a little tiny bit of prop wash, and that just could be <clears throat> due to the weight of it in like a power loop or the battery sagging and when you're coming in I still get a little bit of a wash that I'm still tweaking. Um, I did raise the idle air a little bit more and I'm going to test that out in a second and for you that don't understand that the idle air is when you arm the quad the motors spin at a certain revolution RPM or whatever and that's adjustable and if it's really low when you're doing maneuvers like this you power the throttle all the way down and then you flick the right stick and that's how you get your roll. Um, they continue to spin to try to keep the quad flying and not just fall out of the sky and get wonky. Um, and the higher you go, to a degree, the better and stable it is. But you will also get a much more floaty effect because they're spinning faster as if you're higher in the throttle. <clears throat> and I've noticed um, doing a, a flip and roll when I was messing around yesterday, if I kept the throttle up a bit, it eliminated that prop wash. So that's how I know it's that. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is I was farting around and I wanted to flip the props from one side to the other so instead of because this one's tough to tell the inside of the props are slanting in and I wanted to flip it so they were slanting out um, so I was kind of farting around with that and I just grabbed the battery and was just arming and disarming it to see and brought this battery which is doesn't matter if it's H high volt or not but I brought the battery down past its safety point 3.2 volts for a 1s it is kind of pushing it but that's usually the max um, when I Put it on the charger it wouldn't even register it just completely was blacked out so it was way low so it was about 2.5 2.6 volts which is completely unusable usually and you can't get them to come back but i found a neat little life hack so with my bigger charger i made a little connector I used one of the connectors that goes on to this and then one that goes to the positive negative on the big charger in my case this had it's like a spring clip I don't actually have one for it except for the plug that fits on here, the PH 2.0. And I just snuck them into the sides of the little spring clip. And then I put it on the nickel metal hydrate trickle charge. And instantly, within three minutes, and I brought it down, I brought the charge rate way down. So it was like 0.1 or 0 0.01, 0 0.02 ish. Um, so how much it was giving back to the battery. And within five minutes, I was already back up to 3.5 volt. And uh, I went and plugged it in, it popped up and it was accurate. That's what it showed in the charger. So this guy is saved. Um, but I definitely recommend if you do a lot of whooping and fly 1S batteries to definitely not bring them down if you can. I gotta imagine long term that if you keep dropping it that low, it's gonna end up starting to sag and uh, puff out and be no good. But this will help you if you accidentally do it once in a while and uh, it'll get you back up in the air if you only have a limited amount of batteries. So that is my little hack for the day. Hopefully the clouds, yeah, it's all a little blown out. But it's nice, a little bit cooler this morning. It's uh, mid 70s ish with a nice cool breeze coming off the water. So yeah, it's great. So I'm charging up, I'm gonna go fly this thing at the shore and uh, have some fun. Thanks for tuning in. Beach out.